NASA is returning to Mars. Why? Well, to help solve one of the big Martian mysteries, where did all of that Mars water go? NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Mission, or MAVEN, will explore Mars's climate history and gather clues about the questions scientists have been asking for decades. MAVEN will look at specific processes on Mars that led to the loss of much of its atmosphere. And MAVEN data could tell scientists a lot about the history of climate change on the Red Planet. Billions of years ago, Mars probably looked more like the Earth. Large, flowing oceans or lakes, an atmosphere as thick as our planet's, and perhaps life. It, recently, NASA confirmed evidence of a past environment on Mars well-suited to support microbial life. But something has happened. Most of the atmosphere is gone. The planet is cold and dry at the surface and decidedly inhospitable to life. Now, the most likely culprit is the sun. And MAVEN data will tell us a lot about how the sun interacts with planets and their atmospheres. MAVEN will take a significant step toward solving the planetary puzzle about Mars' past and present environments. And by comparison, may reveal some clues about Earth as well. When MAVEN arrives at Mars in September 2014, it will join ongoing NASA missions Odyssey, Opportunity, MRO, and Curiosity that continue to improve our understanding of Mars and the evolution of our solar system. NASA is committed to a program of Mars exploration with the goal of sending humans in the 2030s. The data from these missions and those to come later this decade will inform future human exploration as well as provide textbook changing science. The next step in our exploration of the Red Planet is MAVEN and the mystery of the missing atmosphere. And maybe someday, NASA robotic Martian detectives partnered with human scientists will answer the age-old question, was there ever life on Mars?